first thing we're going to do is to remove the inside screen. There's little tabs here and all we have to do is push the little tabs and then we can remove the inside screen. What we want to do is get to the wiring where the switch is in the corner. So we're going to loosen the screw on the uh, knob that raises and lowers the vent. So let me get a screwdriver and we'll remove the knob. At this point there's little tabs down at the bottom and up at the top. We want to push those little tabs in so we can then remove and flip over the inside cover so we can get at the switch. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this switch with the switch that came standard with the vent. On each side of the switch there's little tabs. What we want to do is take a screwdriver and gently push in on the tabs and that way we can remove the switch from the housing. There's two wires. The switch actually goes from the positive wire and does not go to the to the negative wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the new switch using the same wires and I'll show you how we're going to connect the two wires. On the new switch there's a red wire and a black wire. The red wire goes to positive, the black wire goes to negative, and the two blue wires or actually the two wires get put on the wires that go directly to the motor and as in the case of the single switch provide a switching mechanism to turn on and off in one direction off is in the middle and the other direction in the other position so we're going to Increase the size of this hole right here to fit the size of the new switch. We might even have to beef up the plastic a little bit because we don't, this is very thin and we don't want to crack this, so we'll probably take and beef this up. Get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. In this particular fan, there's connectors onto the existing switch. What we want to do is we want to remove these connectors. So gently jiggle on the connectors to remove the original switch. The wire that is on the switch side we don't need anymore. So we can put that off to the side. What you're left with now is the black wire to the motor and the white wire to the motor. We're now going to take the internal housing and we're going to cut it to fit the size of the new switch. What we want to do now is place the plastic cover either face up or face down, whichever is more comfortable for you. And again, it's going to depend on which fan you have. Notice this is the original hole and you have a tab right here. We do not want to cut into that tab. So what we want to do is take the new switch. We want to position this switch. Take our felt tip marker and we want to mark around the base of the new switch.
and this is the area that we want to remove the material. The best way to do this is with a Dremel tool. So I'm going to get my Dremel tool and we'll start cutting this out. Because we marked the outside dimensions of the switch onto the plastic cover, you notice there's tabs here and there's a lip. That lip will rest on the plastic. So what we want to do is when we cut this hole out, we want to the cut to the inside of these lines so that you'll have a resting point of the switch onto the plastic cover. So make sure you cut to the inside of your lines. We're going to start out by drilling four holes in each corner so when we cut with the Dremel we aren't going to split the plastic and we're going to be very careful so because this plastic is very thin. I've mounted an eighth inch drill into the Dremel because the diameter of the collet on the Dremel is one eighth of an inch. And again always drill your holes to the inside of the line you marked. If you go I would actually cut a little bit smaller because you can always enlarge it later on before you mount the switch. We've now put the plastic inside cover back onto the fan shroud. We've routed the two power wires. There's a little gap in between the the metal mounting that mounts on the outside and the plastic shroud that mounts to the inside of the RV. We routed these wires through there. We now have the two wires coming from the motor and we now have the two wires coming from the switch which will attach to the wires of the motor. After we solder these we will tape these wires to the inside of the metal housing so that the plastic fan shroud can pop open without interfering with the wires and then the wires will be out of the way mounted to the inside. Once we get all that done then we can remount the screen but let's go ahead now prep the wires and solder the wires from the switch to the fan. I have a 12 volt battery off to the right. I've temporarily wired up the switch and the fan. Let's go ahead and test it. That rotated to the left. That rotated to the right. Everything is working now. Let's go ahead and permanently solder the wires together. What we'll do first is we'll trim everything, all the wires down, so they'll fit neatly inside of the fan shroud. And then let's solder everything together. We have the wires to the motor soldered. We have, uh, well, let's do another operational test here. The fan works both ways. So that's pretty much it for the, uh, the modification to add a two-way switch. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.